Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing another out of my comfort zone video and this time I'm doing a tag. And this tag was started by Hannah Louise Poston here on YouTube and this is the monochromatic makeup tag. So I guess she was watching one of my videos where I talked about the Blitz Trance Blitz Gold lipstick and I was like, this is so gold. And so she commented that that would be a great, you know, piece to a gold monochromatic look. And I was like, huh. So I went over to her channel, I checked out her video. She uses like reds, uh, like rusty or kind of reds to do her monochromatic look and it came out so amazing. She actually does this like cool, like draping effect with like the red. Anyway, go check it out. I will link to her video and her channel down below in my description box. So I, like Hannah suggested, will be focusing on gold. I have a lot of gold makeup. So we're starting out barefaced and we're gonna run through this. So if you're interested in seeing my gold monochromatic look, then just keep on watching. So I thought I would go ahead and prime with the MAC Strobe Cream in Gold Light. I thought that was uh, only appropriate. Just gonna work this into my skin. The smell of this strobe cream just, oh, it just reminds me of something that I either loved or used as a child. I don't know. Yeah, it has a very nostalgic scent to me. I don't know, I don't know what that's about. Am I glowing yet? What's happening? I think maybe I'll add some of this to my La Mer foundation. I'm just gonna put the foundation on first real quick and then maybe just put another layer of that strobe cream on top. So there is the foundation down. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more of this uh, strobe cream to the back of my hand and just dip my brush in there and apply that on top. All right, we're starting with a little bit of a glowy base. I think I want to glow it up a little bit more. I have this Bobbi Brown All Over Glow. Uh, this was, only came in one shade. And this is a really interesting product because it's very, very emollient. It has uh, squalene in here, which is one of its main ingredients. So it's supposed to be very good for you know dry skin or whatever, but I think you can't use too much of this because then it just becomes kind of like too wet. It doesn't really like dry down enough. So I'm going to be very careful with this. It kind of, it has like such a unique texture. It's like thick, but slick all at the same time. So I'm just gonna blend this in. I'm gonna apply it to more than where I would just normally highlight, but kind of sticking to those areas. Like I'm gonna do all over my forehead, not just, you know, the high points. Um, I'm gonna do all of my cheek. Really get this glow party started. Did I just say that? Did I just say glow party? Glossy. Glossy was the word I was looking for in describing this all over glow. It's very, very glossy, and I don't think it necessarily sets down completely. I actually haven't used this product in a while because it was limited edition. I think it's coming back. It may have already come back. Anyway, I had it in my mind that, you know, I probably shouldn't be using a limited edition product on camera in front of you guys because that's annoying, but I think it may be back, or at least it could be coming back. So anyway, thought I would bring it back out. I remember thinking that this stayed a little bit too tacky for me, and I was talking to one of the essays over at Bobbi Brown and they said, well, just kind of keep working it into your skin. It eventually kind of gets absorbed. It'll eventually kind of start to feel less tacky, uh, but it does take a while because of the kind of glossy, thick consistency of it. So anyway, uh, I'm just trying to work that all in, but it is giving my face a really nice shiny effect there. I think something that'll go really nice with gold. All right, I have one last, I think this is the last like cream face product that I have that's gold. I don't know if I need to use it, but this is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Blonde. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't hurt if I just kind of start applying some gold to my face. So I'm just going to swipe this where I would normally highlight, see how that goes. I'm just gonna use the brush that I use for my foundation because my table is a mess and I can't find anything. So let me <laughs> let me just use this. And I think maybe the leftover foundation in here will make it blend in nicely. Ooh, yes. Let the gold begin. I wonder if I need more. Let's put some down my nose and here, see what happens. All right, I think that's all the gold like kind of cream products that I have. So what I wanna do is kind of uh, powder my face and I do have plenty of gold powder to choose from. I think what I will use though is this Guerlain Terracotta Gold Light Powder because I think it'll also bronze up my face a little bit, which I think will, I don't know, 
look better with the gold. So I grabbed my La Mer powder brush. I wanted something really fluffy. I'm gonna go in heavy. This is fun. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's enough gold powder all over my face. This is definitely a look. I feel like if I were to if I were to go out, I would need to wear like a turtleneck because I'm not sure I'm committed enough to actually bring this all down on my neck. But let me try for the sake of this video. All right, we've got the gold going. I still want to like contour and highlight. So I'm wondering if I can kind of like contour with a darker gold, highlight with a whiter gold. I don't know. So I have this, mm, I guess this is like my darkest gold kind of powder. I think what I may do actually is grab a bronzer and like mix it in with this. That's what I should do. Okay, hang on. All right, I have the Tom Ford Gold Dust <laughs> bronzer in keeping with the theme. It has very, very like light gold flakes in here. I don't think enough to be super gold. Am I even successfully contouring or bronzing at all? I feel like I'm just adding gold to my face. Okay, uh, so there's a little bit of gold on gold con contouring, bronzing, whatever you want to call it. I mean, do I even bother with blush? But I definitely want to try and highlight with like a whiter gold. So I have the Tom Ford Gilt Glow, and then I also have the Pat McGrath Highlighter in Fine Gold, and these are both very kind of like white white golds. That's the fine gold from Pat McGrath. So I think I will use those. I'm going to start with this one because this is like a thicker, more powdery kind of formula. And the Pat McGrath is more baked. It's sheer. So I think the Pat McGrath could sit on top of this one nicely. This is actually very fun. I don't know if you guys ever just get a chance to just sit down and play with your makeup. If you don't, you should. It's just, it's so much fun, especially if you're really into makeup, which I'm assuming you are if you're sitting here watching this. <laughs> All right, and then should we pile some of the Pat McGrath on top? Let's try. So funny with all this other warm gold going on, I feel like the Pat McGrath gold looks almost a little green once you put that on. I'm just gonna take the La Mer powder brush and kind of buff everything in here. I feel like I need more of this Guerlain powder just on my eyes a little bit. Okay, I think we're good to go into eyes. I think what I may try and attempt, this may not work at all, is do like a little bit of a cut crease kind of situation. Um, so I'm gonna use some of the like brownish golds in here, this one, in my socket line area, and then I'm gonna use this all over my lid and kind of cut that out. We'll see if that works. I'm actually gonna try my new Sephora number 38 brush. I'm gonna go into this shade here. So I'm just taking that like just all over my crease. All right, now we have some color to cut into. All right, I'm gonna wet my uh, Isam W23 brush with some Fix Plus, and then I'm gonna go into the Pat McGrath Gold Pigment. And I'm gonna place this on my lid. And I'm just gonna take the edge of my brush and just kinda of draw a distinct line there. Then I think I'm gonna try and wing it out a little. Let's see what happens here. I needed a smaller brush uh, for this wing area, so I just grabbed my Isom W19 brush, wet that one, and I'm going back into this gold pigment. So I'm gonna bring this gold down onto my lower lash line. I completely fucked up the shape of this wing and <laughs> it's like not pointy at all. All right, I feel like I have to put like black liquid liner on because this just looks kind of weird without it. And then maybe I can kind of accent the wings a little bit. All right, I have my Tom Ford uh, liquid eyeliner pen here. I'm gonna use the like longer brush tip end and go in. Let's go right down the middle. I 
don't know if it's because maybe the eyeshadow is still wet or maybe it's just the eyeshadow, but this eyeliner is bleeding a little bit which it never really does. So that is not my favorite. Kind of totally crooked. I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath Extreme Black Permagel Ultra something, something, something. And I'm just going to add this to my waterline. Just gonna let all of that dry a little bit and then I'll curl my lashes and add mascara. And I'll be back to do lips. Oh, I should do something with my eyebrows. Hmm. I have something I could use on my eyebrows. I'm not sure if this will actually work, but this is something I never even ever hauled because I, I just, I still don't know how I feel about it. But these came out when Tom Ford came out with the little um, extreme eyeshadows that as you guys probably know, I did not like. But these are the extreme, what are these called? Cause I can't read this. Lash and brow tint. And I have it in the color TFX24 and it's, like this color. Put in your brows, you can put in your lashes. Should we just go for it? This is not really a, a typical office appropriate look <laughs> anyway, so I may as well go for it. So I'm just gonna add some of this to my brows. I remember thinking, when I first got this, I was, remember thinking it was so much fun and you know, what a nice quick way to kind of change up your look. And then I was like, you know what? I think I just look kind of weird. So I never really used these, which is why I never really hauled them. I was like, I, don't have much to say. Just making my brows a little bit browner, I think. I don't think it's that noticeable. I wonder maybe should I brush some gold highlighter in there? I'm gonna take my Worker One brush here and go into this Natasha Denona Super Glow Powder and maybe just brush some on. I just added some gold to like the front of my eyebrow. I don't know, it's so weird. It's so obvious here in real life, but when I look in the viewfinder, I don't, I don't see it unless I do this. All right, I just put on some mascara. Let that dry a little bit. Let's go to the lips. So of course I have the Pat McGrath Blitz Trance Lipstick in Blitz Gold. I actually could use a lip liner. So maybe what I'll use is an eyeliner. Hang on one second. So I have a Linda Hallberg eyeliner that, um, I, you know what, I should try these again, but when I first tried them, they kind of bothered my eyes. I thought maybe it was allergies. My allergies passed, I tried them again, and they bothered my eyes. They just made them a little bit itchy. So I haven't been using these, but <laughs> I'm glad I kept this around because this is gonna make a pretty good lip liner for this lipstick. It's a little bit greener, but let's, let's just give it a shot. Okay, I think that actually really helped a lot. And then let's top it off with some gloss, why not? All right, and I think for a final touch, <laughs> because now that I have the um, eyeshadow on and the lipstick, I feel like my skin, I mean, my skin looks very gold, obviously, but I don't think it's like yellow enough. So I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife and let's just, let's just throw some on. I'm gonna take this Chantikai face brush and go in. All right, yes, the Trophy Wife just, I think, just brought it home. <laughs> Just made my uh, subtly gold face into something super, super gold. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so I'm off to the dog park. Just kidding. What do you guys think? What, is this is this something that you would kind of just wear any old time? But would love to hear if you guys would wear something like this on a regular kind of everyday basis. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this out of my comfort zone video. Thank you so much to Hannah. This was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for commenting and letting me know that you did this tag. I'm so excited. You guys all know, all know how much I love gold. So this was right up my alley. Thank you so much. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video.